What's going on, everybody? No, no, no. no. Oh, that's it. That's it, you squid. You're gonna die. Die? Uh. What's going on, everybody? It is time for another episode on the Hermitcraft server. And I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. All right. Uh, I've been telling you guys that I've been planning to do something with all this gunpowder we've been getting uh, from the mob spawner, the AFK mob spawner. Uh, check out those videos if you didn't see the design for that. Um, it's pretty fun. It's it's not as um, as highly productive as I wish it would be, or had had I built it in, in the sky, or you know been able to light up all the uh, all the caves and everything, but um, it works pretty good for now, and uh, it's it's basically AFK, you know, so uh, you kind of have to stick around and spend some time on it, um, but if you do, you get some rewards, and as you can see, uh, I haven't really AFK'd on it at all, and uh, we've already gotten 24 TNT out of it, not counting the sand, of course. Um, we are going to build a freaking squid cannon because I am sick of these squid being out here killing us every time we take our boat out and there's the boat tunnel right there so what I figured is if we put a TNT cannon here and we head it and we shoot it out you know right out into our boatway area uh, we should be able to clear the squid make sure they're all dead before we take our boat out kind of uh, kind of clearing the path so to speak and if it's not for clearing the path if we don't actually plan to take our boat out um, we can just come out here and if we see any squid in the, the line of sight we can just kill them anyway so um, that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna dig this out real quick uh, this will be kind of our window uh, I have to be careful yeah um, I don't necessarily need this space right here I guess what I could do I could actually build a double TNT cannon build one over here on this side and over on this side and that would clear oh look our first victims waiting um, we have to make sure we can shoot this thing past our uh, our tunnel and not kill it so uh, or not break it so um, there's a couple different designs we could use. Uh, the most recent one I've actually seen, or that we could use for this, it wasn't actually, uh, was it used as a TNT cannon? Yeah, actually, I think Mumbo made one uh, that was a TNT cannon. Um, let me let me look that up and see. I think it was a one by one, uh, not one by one, but like a one by three by five or something like that type of design, and that would work pretty much um, pretty nicely right here and if we put one over here too that would kind of fit into the walls and we wouldn't have to worry about um, much so I'm gonna go double check on that design and then uh, if it looks like it'll work we'll, we'll start building it all right it's just putting together some supplies um, I did take a look at that design and it looks like it'll work fine so uh, I'll put a link in the description to that video if you haven't seen it um, but the way it works is you have a dispenser um, I may or may not keep it here but let's just say we did um, and we have another we have a, uh, a sticky piston with a slime block on top of it and of course I would need to clear out or put watermelon or pumpkins or furnaces or something next to those slime blocks so they don't um, so they don't grab other blocks with them but uh, let's say we had a TNT in here it's gonna basically drop the TNT right here and it's gonna activate it but what happens is this thing will punch it up into the sky and then we're gonna have another sticky piston uh, I'll have to figure out the exact placement of it but basically it'll be pointed that direction with another uh, slime block and what will happen is this will punch it up into the air and this one will just hurl it out into the water out there 30 35 blocks or so and that's how it works so uh, but the thing we really need to worry about is making sure that we uh, do all the redstone correctly because if we don't 
And especially on a server, um, we could have this whole place explode, and we don't want that to happen. Um, so obviously, let's see. Well, let's just see if we can build it here. And of course, I'm going to test this out not using TNT at first. So in case something goes wrong, uh, it will not explode everything. Um, OK, so we need a repeater going into this block with an extra tick on it. Um, this is going to uh, fire off first. And then the top piston is going to fire off second. So on the other side of this block, we just need a regular repeater, no, no extra ticks or anything. Um, we need a block there. Where is my redstone? We need a redstone here. Uh, we need another re oops, redstone torch. Finally. All right. Did I get all my redstone torches back? Uh, we need this. Oh, sorry about the chickens. I just noticed that. So I don't know if maybe that's throwing me off. It's uh, distracting. All right. So we have this sticky piston here. And then got to get rid of that. And this. So if I powered this dispenser, this should actually work. And make sure I don't have any TNT in there. <laughs> um, why did I do that? We need, let's say we did that. That looks like everything's working. So let's, um, let's test this out. Is this going to, oh, this won't play sand, will it? But let's pretend that the dispenser plays sand. This will be our temporary TNT for the second. OK, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, because it's sticking. Huh. OK, well, we can't really test it out, except with real TNT. Um, is there anything else that can be dispensed that will fly that's activated? I don't think so. But anyway, I'm pretty sure it's working. It does look like it's working. We just have to make sure the server doesn't mess it up for some reason. That would be kind of scary. So um, we need to put some power into this block. And the other trick that we have to look out for is we need to power this block with a repeater, not a redstone. Because what will happen is not everything will get powered. I think what would happen... If we just powered this with redstone and not, um, if we didn't power it with a repeater, let's see, the bottom, yeah, nothing. Only the dispenser would happen. The TNT would go off, but none of the pistons would, uh, would hit it away, so to speak. So that is definitely not the way we want it to work. Okay, so we need to power it like that, right? I guess. Okay, I think that's working. I'm going to go sleep real quick, and I guess it's time to go wait for some squid and see if we can uh, hit a couple. All right, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fortify this thing with uh, some furnaces, but I want to make it look nice. So uh, let's see, how can we do this? I guess if I... If I take this whole row right here and put furnaces, um, we should make the place look a little bit better. All the way back here. Okay, so that looks uh, similar. We can put we can put uh, dirt in front of this, I guess, if we want. Uh, but that kind of ruins our walkway. Where is oh, the walkway is over there? So, no, right here, actually, we kind of cut through our walkway. Um, we can put a walkway down over here if we want to. Uh, let's see, where else do we want furnaces? We want them here, here, uh, but we don't want them pointed out, do we? We don't want to see the face of the furnace, so. Let's see. All right, so we'll point this that way. And we'll point this one that way. And I'm going to dig this out and replace. I'll put the I'll put the dirt back. Let's 
see. Well, I may just cover this whole thing with dirt. We'll just see. Um, but I need to make sure other people don't place any blocks here as well. So I'm going to put uh, furnaces on top. All right, so basically this thing will be protected in every direction. And I'm pretty sure it's not safe to put blocks here because the TNT will probably... Uh, I don't know if that would work or not. I think that would be too risky. I don't want to try it. So, um, so I'll just leave that <laughs> as it is for now. Um, but we, I may find a different way to power this. Uh, I may take a piston with a, um, with a redstone block or something so we don't have this exposed uh, redstone and everything but uh, for now I guess it'll be okay and um, I'm pretty sure I can have blocks here too so this whole thing is the cannon and yeah alright so we'll make sure we make this pretty for the world to look at from outside um, but yeah, do we have any squid? There is a squid right there. I wonder, let's see, I wonder if he's going to be the right size or the right distance. So we're at 1320. TNT is going to roughly go 30, 35 blocks, which would be a little too far. Oh, you know what else we should do? We, where's the actual TNT row? Right there. I'm going to put a little platform of dirt. So the TNT, and I can take away the blocks later. The TNT will land right around this area. This might be a good player cannon. Like, we could shoot players. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's... Um, I guess the TNT would only land right here, so we don't need to mess up the area at all. Um, let's let's put that down a block. So right about here. So that'll give a, a squid a chance. Ooh, look at this squid. So if he comes up to the surface, we can get this guy. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Squid. I'm building something fun for you. Trust me, you'll enjoy it. All right. All righty. Come on, Mr. Squid. Maybe we should invite a player over here. Um, XB Crafted is on, but he, I think, is far away. He's not here in town. He's at his own base. All right, so I guess, I guess it's just time to test with the real squid. I do see a squid right there. Uh, so let's go for it. Let's just put one TNT in here, just in case something goes wrong. All right, are you guys ready? Let me let me clear out the view. Um, I want to be able to see this too. All right, let's see. All right, here goes. Are you guys ready? And it did work. Awesome. And oh, our our dirt, our dirt was way too far out, uh, but that's good. We we got to see. Oh, it looks. I just. I swear. I just saw um, squid ink. So we did. We did kill a squid. Yes. Wow. Our first victim, and we didn't even. We didn't even know about it. All right. Uh, where. We needed to go this direction quite a few blocks, actually. Sorry, you guys can't see it underwater here, but. All right. Let's dig some of this stuff out. So, basically, what the dirt will do is give the place for the TNT to land, and it will not sink down to the bottom. So in case we see some squid at the surface, uh, we'll be able to hit them within the blast area. 
and uh, we'll be able to see it because, you know, if we're just killing them underwater, that's kind of no fun. We want to be able to see the death of the squid. All right, so I'm glad this thing works on a server. Let's put one more in here and wait for, wait for our little friend, Mr. Squid. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, we've got two squids right there. I took away the, uh, the button, by the way. Oh, are we going to get both of them? Oh, our, our dirt block, it, I moved it back too far. Oh, stay here, squid. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, stay perfect right here. There's a nice little party waiting for you. Okay, so those two were too close. I think those might be perfect. All right, yeah, just go head head that direction a few blocks. No, the other way, other way, that way. Ah, oh, come back. All right, well, um, I'm gonna go fix, yeah. I'm gonna test this again and see if I can get the dirt to the exact spot I want it. We want the TNT to land on that so that it won't sink below and not blow up the squid uh, it needs to be kind of, it, there'll be a nice big blast zone around it. So as long as a squid are in that area and TNT lands on it, ah, oh, just one block too far, I think. So I'll move this back two more blocks. Can't believe I, uh, I misjudged that one so far. All right. So that should be about the spot. Come here, squid. Hang out right around that little block right there. Woohoo! Yep, he looks like he's heading over that direction. Come on, over there. Perfect. Aim, aim to the left. Swim over there. Oh, we better get up there. Hurry, hurry. Oh, we got to make it. Is he there? Oh, that's close enough for me. Let's test it out. Let's just put the whole stack up there. Get up there. Oh, it might be too far. Oh, the TNT still didn't hit the dirt. What's going on? It might even be off. It might be off. It might be going to the left. What's the deal? Let's see. Should be right. Am I off by a block? That might be the problem. Let's put one more block just to be safe so we don't waste too much TNT. All right, Squid, thank you for participating in our survey. Um, one more step, and then you are free to go. Um, head over that direction and speak to the nice little dirt block out there in the middle of the water. And uh, we have a prize for you. Other direction. Why are you doing this? Go that way. There we go. Okay, swim. Swim, Squiddy. Ah, that guy's not very bright, is he? He shouldn't be surprised people want to blow him up with TNT. All right, we're almost there, folks. We're almost there. So the reason I originally had the button in the middle here was that I wanted to uh, push the button and have both cannons go off. But uh, it seems like, the unless I have the blast area right next to the other blast area, that wouldn't work. So I would have to move both of these cannons inward towards the middle here. And I kind of don't have space for it. I would have to build out a little bit if I wanted, um, if I wanted it to go that direction. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, I moved it to the middle and just... In case you guys stuck around, a special bonus for you. I can't believe a squid. Oh, I don't, I don't have any TNT in there. Okay. Oh yeah, perfect. Yes. Oh, he caught air. That was great. All right, this thing is working. Okay, and now also I have a smaller area dug out, so this thing will look better as well. I'm gonna clean this up and probably put some windows. You know, some nice glass and a little border type of thing around it so it looks nice but for now um yes oh that was just too perfect so anyway see you guys later